in today's video we're gonna create this responsive navbar with hover effects like this when you shrink it down there is this button comes up with the drop down menu let's get into it just create a new folder open that up in vs code i have my background image set up you can find the link in the description create the index.html and style.css and quickly link that and I also reset the margins and paddings and set the font as well and we are good to go let's start with the html let's create the navbar let me close this off let's create the navbar with the anchor tag let's say class logo and how to web dev and let's create another box for box icons you're gonna use a small icon from box icons menu icon and to import the box icons go to this website you can find the link in the description go to the usage and scroll down a little bit and copy this right under here and as you can see there is the icon so let's keep going with the HTML. Let's create the unordered list with the class of now list. Let's create those anchor tags. I'm gonna create like five services, products, contact, and more. And also we're gonna add another anchor tag with the class of button. Let's say join now and let's create that section call it hero and main text div with the h1 responsive navbar using html css and javascript so we are kind of done with the html and it looks like this we're gonna add the script tag at the end let's create that script.js file we're just gonna need a little bit just a touch of javascript let's add that file in and let's style it we're gonna add the javascript at the very end so let's start with body say background color i don't know let's say red we're gonna use a background image so it doesn't really matter let's call it white and nav is going to be position fixed with 100 percent top zero right zero z index let's set ridiculously high number display flex align item center justify content space between and padding 30 pixel 15 percent background transparent and let's give it a transition all so half a second ease and yeah it looks horrible but we're going to fix it don't worry let's style that logo as well say color white font size 35 pixels font weight 700 cursor pointer and let's also give it a transition of 0.3 ease let's add the hover effect color i'm gonna copy and paste my color in here transform scale 1.1 so when we hover over it it's gonna look a bit bigger there you go and what else oh the nav list set the nav list display flex and the anchor tags let's give it a margin 0 15 padding 5 to 10 color white font size 16 and then let's make it a bit bigger 18 font weight 500 and what else uh, we're gonna add a border bottom 3 pixel solid transparent for the hover effect say transition all half a second and ease 
let's add the hover effect as well color same rgb color and border bottom three pixel solid same color as well yeah it works and let's delete those text decorations as well text decoration none list style none yeah there you go that's much better and what else let's see well, let's style the button btn display inline block padding 12 30 color whites background color I'm gonna make it transparent give it a border radius as well border 3 pixel solid white transition all let's make it 0.4 ease nice let's add the hover effect as well but btn hover color the same rgb color background color white transform scale 1.05 and border 3 pixel solid the same rgb color let's see it works well let's also select that menu icon color white font size 38 z index 1001 and cursor pointer and display none for now uh, what else oh the section let's say padding 0 15 percent and finally let's add that background image hero let's say 100 percent not 100 percent 100 vh with 100 percent and let's say background url back.png background size cover background position center display flex align item center justify content center and text align center there you go looks fine and let's also we're gonna style those text main text h1 let's give it a really big font size like 90 pixels font weight 800 mask border 5 pixel and the paragraph as well font size 30 and font weight 600 nice and finally let's make it responsive say media max width 1350 pixels so when we hit that breakpoint now is going to be padding 20 pixels 5% and section is going to be padding 0.5% and let's make a couple of more media max width 950 main text h1 is going to be a bit smaller and the paragraph as well is going to be just a bit smaller logo as well and button 9 pixel 27 pixels and the last one is going to be for the mobile 860 let's display that menu icon display block nav list is going to be position absolute top minus 800 left zero right zero display flex and flex direction column I'm gonna make the background transparent to make it look cool backdrop 
pack drop filter gonna make give it a blur of 50 pixels and transition all half a second ease and text align left and let's set the anchor tags padding 1 rem gonna give it a small border on the left solid white margin 1 rem and display block and let's also give it a hover effect a hover and we're gonna make the backgrounds white and color that pinkish RGB color as well and when it opens up I'm gonna say top 100% and one small addition is going to be max width, 80 pixels, main text H1, I'm gonna make the font size a lot smaller. So finally, we're gonna add the very small JavaScript. Let's create two variables. We're gonna set let menu and we're gonna select that menu icon and gonna create another one now list and let's select that now list let's create the function on click menu class list dot toggle so if we click on that menu icon we're gonna open up that list okay and that is it let's see if it works and it works it is responsive let's check if that button is working it works as well hover effects work drop down menu works and that is how you create a responsive navbar thank you guys for watching and see you next time